15 pound black Angus. But look at this next one. Whoa. These are some monster briskets. In fact, this one, this 20 pounder, 19.58 pounds. This is the biggest brisket I've ever cooked, ever. So yeah, there's that. This one, this is no chump. <laughs> this is a 15 and a half pound brisket. I just, the price was so amazing for here in Delaware at $7.99 a pound. What I want to do today is something I've always wondered about. When you buy meat, you buy, rather it's bone, fat, or whatever, you're buying the whole thing. And with the brisket, there's a lot of waste. There's, you know, we'll see. Each one's different, but uh, they all typically have some waste, some fat that you need to take off that just isn't gonna render properly. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a look at both of these briskets, both individually as well as together. And we're gonna get an average for how much I think waste or fat or whatever you wanna call it, uh, there is. It's not really waste because we're gonna keep it and actually uh, make it into some stock. But we wanna see how much fat we trim off both of them individually and then collectively and kind of get a percentage as far as how much fat we're buying versus how much brisket we're buying. So these little tin pans weigh about 0.6 ounces. That way we can weigh how much we cut off. So what we're doing is we're just cutting off the hard fat sections like this and we're gonna keep most of it. Uh, we're gonna keep it all until we weigh it. This is part of the deco over here. And you can see that's solid fat. It's hard fat, it won't render. It is fairly pointless. You don't wanna make a cavity from digging it out, uh, but it's, you know, it needs to go. I like to just shape up the edge. Uh, it has oxidized meat, and usually you can see the brown color. You can see I did a fairly nice trim job on it. And I got all the, the hard fat off the top and on the fat cap i trimmed it down and to be honest with you uh, they got it pretty close to right i only took some off a couple of different areas here uh, you know trying to keep it at a quarter of an inch okay the rest of it's pretty good let's go ahead and get the other one done that's the amount of fat we cut off of this one we'll see what it weighs here in just a little bit all right let's get to work on this big one let's see how much comes off of this one you can see there's quite a bit on that smaller one we'll start right here on the decal in case you're wondering i'm using the victorinox boning knife absolutely love this knife it's nice and firm and stiff to push through hard fat like that it's not just about getting fat off it's about shaping it as well the more uniform the shape the more even it'll cook for the smaller brisket we are at three pounds and one ounce. I can't remember the exact weight, but I think it was 15 and a half or somewhere close to that. And so we cut three pounds of that off. Now I'm not gonna throw that away. I'm gonna render it in this pan. And this is the big brisket. Look at that. Three pounds, 7.2 ounces. It's surprising, you know? You think with the bigger brisket, you're gonna cut off more fat, but each brisket is just a little different and there's just going to be you know a thicker fat cap on one than there is the other a thick, thicker harder deco or you know fat on the top it, it every one of them i've never had two that were like oh wow they're similar they're all very unique and so that's why you're going to cut a um, different amount off of each one and so i want to look at it as a percentage and we're going to take the two of these guys and find out what that percentage is how much fat do we take off of a brisket if we're being, I'm gonna say mildly aggressive. I wasn't real aggressive, but I did, I did go at the hard fat pretty well. I had one one time, it was like 16 pounds, and I cut, I, I bet I cut six pounds off of it. So it, it's something to look at when you're shopping for your brisket. Well, let's take a look at some of these numbers and get that average. With brisket A, the smaller brisket, we started at 15.6 pounds and brisket B was 19.58 pounds. Now, like I said, I was mildly aggressive when I was trimming these briskets. And I would say that's probably about average with what I do on most briskets. And since 
all briskets are different. I mean, very different. This percentage is gonna change from brisket to brisket, but it was just interesting to kind of see where that percentage would lie among the two. On brisket A, we started at 15.6 pounds. We had 3.06 pounds of trimmings, which when you convert three pounds and one ounce into a decimal format, that's what you come up with, 3.06. I believe at least that's what the internet tells me. And so that's 19.6% trimmings. Now think about that. That's basically 20%. 20% of that purchase was trimmings. And although I can use those trimmings for a lot of different things, that's still a lot. Brisket B was 19.58 pounds, and this was the big one. And to be honest with you, I thought this was going to be a higher percentage, but we had 3.45 pounds. And again, if you take three pounds, 7.2 ounces, and turn it into decimal format, that's what you come up with, which left us at 17.62% was trimmings. And so we had 19.6 and 17.62, which kind of gives us an average of 18.6. And so if you're thinking about that, and the next time you get a brisket, you know, just kind of see where you land. Uh, I, I'm going to continue to do this on additional cooks and see if my average percentage comes out to about 18.6. Do us all a favor and let us know down in the comments what kind of percentage you trim off of your briskets. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I know knowing how much fat you trim off your brisket can help improve your cooking skills. It can also make sure that you have consistency in your cooking. It'll also help you when you're shopping for your brisket to look for briskets where you're going to have a little better cost efficiency. Not to mention, it's just kind of interesting and cool to know if you're a barbecue nerd like myself. Do us a favor here at Delmarva Backyard. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with someone who may get something out of it. And ask any questions down in the comments. Hope you guys have an awesome week. And I'll see you on the next video.